Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers and today, oh wow, we are in somewhere we really, <laughs> really shouldn't be. So we've decided to do something or somewhere that nobody, as far as I'm aware, has ever, ever done on YouTube. Um, we are, at a, I'm not going to say where we are because it could cause quite a lot of trouble for us. We're at a massive stately home with over 300 windows, that's one fact I know about the place. Um and it is huge it is it's bigger than buckingham palace this place but it's not the main building that we're going into we're going into the stables and all the outbuildings around there and it looks amazing i will try and put some footage in but i've just got to be careful to show you where we are uh, because it could like i said cause us quite quite a few a trouble few problems so yeah you, as you can see we are filming in the car at the moment uh, so it's a little bit crappy conditions but once we get outside we've got quite a little bit of a walk to do before we get to the place and we cannot have torches on because if we do we will be spotted and the last time i got spotted on this land by the guy that sort of looks after it i got chased down by him in his car and he's a scare he's only tiny he's only a small bloke but he's a scary motherfucker so small bloke with a car hurts yeah exactly yeah so anyway let's get in and hopefully we'll see you inside right so we are just heading up now we've got to somehow get over this big massive wall and it is huge I, just, I can't show you very much because i'm having to be right in the edge because there's a house behind us and if they see my torch that's it it's over game over so i'll see if i can show you so yeah just in the distance that little light up there is the house so we've got to be very careful right so we found our way in luckily part of the wall is collapsed and uh, wow that's quite lucky because look how high up there andy is and now you can see properly how big this wall is huge right so i'm just at the top of the wall where we just walked along and that's just in the in the distance those lights you can see the start of a, a major city in england and uh, we just can't have the light on still once again i don't know if you can see the little lights over there that is the cottage that we've just walked past so we're walking back on ourselves now so i know this isn't great viewing and uh, i do apologize for that but it's because we don't want to get caught right so look at this we've just come across a massive big sort of statue we've got a guy in the middle there look can't go in because like I said we are just above that house that one we mentioned before I don't want to get us caught before we've even gone in might come and give that another look when we come back out again if we get time right you can see just down there that's the back of the big house now that's only a very very small section of the house that's lit up now we can't go down close to that and if we do, we'll have to do it last because it's somebody lives there. So uh, we'll go to the bit that's not used and that is abandoned. So yeah, we're following this path. Once again, we've got that hat, the big house off down to the left of us, so we've got to be quite careful. However, oh, we now seem to be going out a bit into the open. You will be able to tell from my voice, I'm scared and it's not very often. I'm scared, but I've met this bloke. I know what he's like. And we are in the middle of private ground. And we, no, we don't usually do this. We don't usually go somewhere where part of it is owned by someone and used by someone. So it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Now, if you keep hearing noises in the trees, there's owls everywhere. They're making some right racket. I am gonna have to turn the torch back off now though, because we're getting quite close just realised we've made our way onto the driveway of the big hall which is just there look all lit up not supposed to be anywhere near it and everything 
every single tree we go past that we get pheasants and birds flying out of. Now we're here, we're near to where we need to be. Right, so we're walking down the outside of the building once again. Got to be careful with this torch. Now I'm going to put it away in a second, but we just are in a covered area. Now, just to give you an idea, as you can see, it's definitely not used in there. see if we can get in further up. As you can see, it definitely is empty in there. We are gonna try and get around the other side because we can't get in this way. And he's just making his way off there. Yeah, all these buildings, there's loads of them as well. They are all empty. As you can see, this is just an outbuilding. Look how grand it is. We will find a way, I'm sure. Right, so we've managed to get in to one of the newer buildings right next door to the main building where we're trying to get in. Now this was used as a college as far as I'm aware. So we're going to try make our way around this building. I think this building is probably going to be pretty trashed. So, but it might just help us get into the rest. We'll have a look. Yeah, so as you can see, there's lots of like, college lockers there and changing rooms just in there. It is exactly as I expected. Very fucked and very dangerous in here. Now, normally buildings like this would be messing about, having a laugh. But that tension's still there, isn't it, Andy? That, that scared feeling is inside. It isn't somewhere I want to get caught. Especially if this is the only building we get in, because it is just empty, smashed up rooms. But hopefully this will lead us to another part where we can get into the older building. I'll catch up with you in a minute. So we've found our way into some sort of sports hall by the looks of things. Or maybe like assembly hall or something like that. I think it was a college. From what I remember, that's what it was. I think I spoke to somebody today that told me that's what they used it for. Like, oh, that's an orange juice machine. That's quite a strange thing to find in the middle of here. Oh, oh, we've got police tape on here as well, which means we may have trouble. Let's have a look behind these curtains. Oh, that's where all the electrics went, look. Nothing too exciting. I'm not quite sure where Andy's gone. Oh, what's this over here, look? Record player. Mar Marconi phone. Brilliant. Right, so I'm catching up with Andy. These look like anti asbestos suits or something. In fact, that's asbestos, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, and then changing rooms. Many, many sinks. Seriously, just every little bang and noise, I feel like we're gonna get caught. Oh God, is it flooding in here? <gasps> what was that? What was that bang behind us? Something bang behind us. Door, 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 look at this. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, I did not expect to find this in here. So I've got a big, fat, Swimming pool. Now this is actually the first full-size swimming pool with a diving board. Canoes. <laughs> what we got? What's he called now? That cook. Ainsley yeah. Harriet. Why is he on there? <laughs> yeah, boy. But yeah, this is the first abandoned full-size swimming pool I've ever been to. Is it you? Well, it is because you you come with me. Oh look, there's canoes in the bottom of there. Abandoned canoes. Oh my god. Oh. I just I just need to get up there and get a photo. Which you know you're gonna have to take for me. But this is it's bigger than it's huge, isn't it? That drop down there 
He's massive. It's hard to tell. That's a good one, five metres, so it's gonna be. Yeah. But yeah, they used it for canoeing and everything in here. Oh, 3.5 metres. Oh, 3.5 metres. That's not very high, is it? No. 11 foot. So is it a four metre diving board? Oh no, because you don't dive into the bottom of the pool, do you? It's one metre diving, half a metre diving board. That's, right. that's one metre with three. Yeah. Let's get that done in five. I'm going up there. Three. And I thought, oh, gutted. We're only going to get in a crappy building that's been absolutely smashed up. Smashed. Smashed up. But yeah, instead, we get to come somewhere that's pretty, pretty cool. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't make things easy for myself, holding, holding a camera in one hand, a torch in another, and then trying to climb up things. Let's have a look at this, then. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If I were diving in here, I'd be pretty scared. Because this is high. I don't wanna walk out on it too far. Exactly, if it falls down, I'm fucked. Let's have a look, how secure is it? Nah, it's secure. Get a little handy down there. You look so little down there. Oh, I am, I'm scared. It's giving, like massively giving, but that's what diving boards do, I suppose. I'm probably coming across as a right girl now, but I actually feel more scared on this than I have done on many of the other heights I've done. I just, I've just got to touch the end of my foot, that's all. I'm coming across a proper girl, aren't I? You can't feel this, but it's bending under the massive mat weight it's got to carry. Oh God. One more big step. I'll do. Jesus, I need only to take a photo of me. Can you see me now? Can you see the camera? You need to turn it away. Yeah, but then I can't see you. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, so, just being up there, like I said, it's, it doesn't seem very high, but when he stood up there, looking right down there, it does. So I'm gonna try and get down here now. Oh God, and he's making some funny noises. He's on his way down already. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's plants growing inside it. Just listening to that noise, I might just jump in here. Jump in the pool. I didn't expect to be saying that tonight. Right, so we're just debating whether if I get in here, I can get back out and actually, looking at that up close, <laughs> that's steep as fuck, innit? And there's nothing to grab a hold of. You've probably got another 18 inch at bottom of that, hasn't Yeah, it? and it'll be slimy and slippy, won't it? Oh, I am gutted, I wanna go in. The only other way would be this stuff, wouldn't it? If you had one end of this and held it tight and I climbed up it. Or, or, got one of them rings and you pulled me up. They don't hold your weight. They are, they're plastic. Exactly. They're fine. They'll pull apart, they're like holder hook rings. <laughs> they're like what? Holder hook rings. <laughs> you know what? No, if you end up pulling me, we would be stuck in for the rest of the night. That'd be good, in some a good, pond water. A good story to tell though, wouldn't it, that one? Right, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't care, I'm good doing on. it. Thing is, I'm gonna have to do it naked. You know that, don't you? <sighs> it's gonna have to be, I've got no other way of doing You'll it. get some worm crawling down your jack. I'm more bothered about being naked, sort of pulling myself up like a slug while you watch me. And it's a cold night. I've got don't an idea. Be, don't bring excuses to it. I've got a good idea. I've got two t-shirts on. 
I'll make some sort of nappy out of one of them. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's got to be done because I want to go and try and get one of them, them out of the water, but I don't think I will. And go for a kayak. Right, back in a minute with me nappy on. We've had to turn the torch off. And we're making a quick escape. We're in here, mate. We're in here. We're in here, mate. What are you doing? Just having a look around, taking photos, mate. Nothing hey. else. What? Just look, taking <laughs> photos. Doing <laughs> what? <laughs> you're lucky you ain't got fucking beard, haven't you? <laughs> Move! Sorry, mate. Move! <laughs> Move! <laughs> hey! You're lucky you're not going to hospital. Leave the dogs, I've got. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what has just happened? Our well, worst nightmare has just happened. That's a first, isn't it? That's never happened before. We've had police buzzing around, but we've never been caught by them, especially not armed police with dogs. That is not good. Appar bad. Apparently at that hall where we've just been, where I'm still not going to tell you where it was, uh, there is, if there's any call-outs, and I didn't know this and you didn't know this, I'm no. presuming, any call-outs to that place, it's automatic... Um, armed response with dogs and that was one of the scariest experiences of my life that dog was scary as Big. fuck it was and it wanted us didn't it it wanted to kill us I wasn't taking my hands out of my pockets and all that I stuck that I and losing a finger all credit to the policeman it sounds like he's being horrible to us in the video he's like shouting at us but I think he was genuinely sort of scared of what could have happened to us if we'd sort of if he'd let the dog off we would have been in shit wouldn't we really we'd have been nashed a bit wouldn't we yeah de definitely definitely and i know they train to bite you in certain places but i still don't really want to be bitten by so that is a bit of a learning curve we're never going there again definitely never going there again never. and do you know what the worst bit about it is 
<laughs> it's not the dog coming and the police coming. It was the fact that I was naked when we heard the police coming. I was in the swimming pool, just putting a t-shirt round my arse to go in there like a little nappy with my legs through the armholes, when all of a sudden we heard, come out, come out. So I had to turn the torch off and I had to pick all my clothes up and run and just climb. I ju I vaulted out of that pool. You did, didn't you? I didn't even touch the. Quick. I just jumped. I thought you were going to get upstairs, up. but no. No, straight up. Um, and then, so then what I did was I was panicking. So I put my trainers on and then thought, shit, I ain't got my jeans on. So then I had to take my, the t shirt off and the <laughs> jeans off and put the jeans back on again. Oh, fucking oh, hell. Anyway. Absolutely we ridiculous. We couldn't find his way out, could we? No. So then when we came, eventually came out to these armed police, we got all details took like you normally do. And then we came out to the main gates. And how many people were there? There was maybe four, 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 five cars. Oh, yeah, police. I thought you were going to say people. No, no. Four, five police cars. I'd say there were a good dog. 15 people there in total because the owner were there or the land. The I don't think he's estate in the... Estate manager. Yeah, something like an estate manager. And... The guy that I mentioned earlier on to you, the one that is a little bit lethal. He's only about five foot two, but literally will smash your face in at any chance. And he was actually saying that we, we'd we smash things up to get in and stuff. Yeah. And we, we don't do that. That's not us. So Bellin. actually, the guy that were in charge was actually nice. He was saying, just tell all your mates, don't come here yeah. and don't break things. Um, there's so much cam many cameras inside and out. So if you do know where we are, don't come. No. 100% do not go. Too many. Too yeah. many sensors. Yeah, definitely. So we've only, so we've only been in about ten seconds, and we're alerted. Yeah, I, I'm. I, I'm even tempted to say where it is. No. No. Okay, then I won't. Just, I just don't want you to get bitten at the end of the day no. or shot. Shot, shot's probably worse. And he said if they, if the landowner or estate manager got to us before them, did we'd have probably got baseball, baseball bats. Baseball and bats. I said that to you before, and then I with that little guy, he's he's so, a nutter. Don't risk it. Yeah, don't risk it. Anyway. We will, uh, we will see you soon, and hopefully it won't be in these circumstances. <laughs> so we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. We're a bit delayed. Oh, no. Have another one. Oh, I've still got my fingers. Yeah. Right, and I've still got my knob. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't see it. A bit harsh. Bye-bye. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. 